dear viewer assalamu alaikum and welcome to all to our channel today we are going to talk about a patient of addison's disease presented with pigmentation and other features first of all see this video in this video you can see a male patient having pigmentation involving lip tongue and palate so what was the scenario in this patient a male patient, 55 year old, non-smoker, non-diabetic, non-alcoholic, presented with weakness, loss of appetite and weight loss, dizziness and generalized pigmentation for one year. So how we can approach to this patient? First of all, history. In history, ask about pigmentation, distribution of it, it is localized or generalized, site of predilection. Of the pigmentation in our patient he has generalized pigmentation more marked in the tongue and palate ask about weight loss how much he has lost what is the present weight of him if not measured then how does he ascertain weight loss does his clothes become looser is the weight loss intentional or not? Ask about food habit, induced vomiting, laxative use or diuretic use. In our patient, he lost about 12 kg in last one year, which was unintentional. Ask about dizziness. What does he mean by it? Is it lightheadedness, unsteadiness or spinning? In which position it is more such as standing from sitting does he know his blood pressure if yes then what is during sitting or lying or during standing in our patient he has dizziness during standing from sitting he reported that his blood pressure is low but did not know the exact measurement ask about loss of appetite such as its duration in any specific food or to all foods is there any association with nausea, vomiting, etc.? In our patient, he has lost of appetite to all foods. Ask about associated gastrointestinal symptoms such as dysphagia, nausea or vomiting, abdominal pain, gastrointestinal bleeding, bowel habit, steatoria, etc. None of the symptoms was present in our patient except nausea. Ask about tuberculosis such as prolonged fever, cough, hemoptysis, anorexia, etc. In our patient, there was no such history. Search for vitiligo which may point to autoimmune disease, though it was absent in our patient. Ask about other diseases such as chronic kidney disease, chronic liver disease, color jaw, hemochromatosis, where pigmentation may occur. In our patient, this type of disease history was absent. A past medical history such as diabetes mellitus, thyrotoxicosis, adrenalectomy or adrenal irradiation. Also search for any features of depression. In our patient there was no history of this type of illness. Ask any member of his family suffering from this type of illness or other chronic condition. In our patient all family members in good health. Ask about past and present medication, especially steroids. In our patient, he is taking methylprednisolone 2 mg tablet for his low blood pressure for last 6 months, but his condition was not improving. This is all about the history, then come to physical examination. First of all, general examination, in our patient, we found that patient was emaciated, pigmentation seen in the lip, tongue and palate as you have seen in the video and also we have to search for other body parts such as palmar crease, knuckles, nipples, axilla, perineum or in surgical scar. We have to search for vitiligo though it was absent in our patient. In our patient his blood pressure was in sitting position 100 over 70 mm of mercury but on standing it was 75 50 mm of mercury that is there is there was postural hypotension other findings in general examination was normal then come to this systemic examination we have to perform systemic examination including cardiovascular system respiratory system nervous system and musculoskeletal system though in our patient all systemic examination were normal so 
what is the provisional diagnosis in this case considering the history and physical findings our provisional diagnosis is addison stages so what is points in favor of our diagnosis first of all there is weakness weight loss nausea secondly dizziness and postural hypotension we have found here and there is generalized pigmentation in this patient so what are the investigations we should plan for this patient full blood count which may show lymphocytosis or eosinophilia serum electrolytes to see hyponatremia hyperkalemia hyperchloremic acidosis hypercalcemia blood glucose looking for hypoglycemia we have to perform short tetracosartrin or short synethin test and if it is positive then follow up with a prolonged ACTH stimulation test if ACTH is more than 300 nanogram per liter in the morning at 9 am then it suggests addison stages if addison stages is suspected then we have to find out the causes of it as such we have to perform adrenal autoantibodies such as 21 hydroxidase autoantibodies chest radiograph for tuberculosis plain radiograph of the abdomen for adrenal calcification ct scan of the adrenal glands we have to screen for hiv also we should screen for thyroid disease pernicious anemia type 1 diabetes etc if evidence of autoimmune adrenal failure present this is all about today if you like this video please subscribe the channel and share it with others thank you